How's it going, everybody? Happy hump day. Um, <clears throat> just a little spacey island groove for you today. Trying to get out of the winter funk. Man, I don't know if you guys struggle with the endless gray days that we get in the south. Or in, uh, definitely in Tennessee in general. I, I've never lived anywhere else in the south, but God, it just seems like months of gray around here. So you gotta make a concerted effort to uh, pull yourself out of the weeds. At least I do. That's, that stuff really affects me. Um, uh, what I like to do is make my coffee in the morning in a mug that's from somewhere else. <laughs> Just a little insider trading tip for those who get uh, seasonal depression, like I do. Um, I try to collect mugs from places that I like or places that make me happy, like uh, those crappy Starbucks mugs are too big, but, you know, they do one for different cities. And so I have a couple different ones from cities that I like. And then there's a couple that I have from different places we've been to at the beach that are good. Make me think of anything but being under the gray umbrella um, of winter. Anyway, um, let's see. Thanks to everyone for... Uh, I just won an award in Australia, the CMA, CMAA Awards. Uh, they gave me an award, Musician of the Year. So thanks for all the really kind words and shout outs on Facebook and Instagram. It's really cool. I appreciate it. Um, musician of the Year, that's really, really cool. Um, you know, I'm doing a lot better than most, and even I have my months where I struggle, uh, you know, to, to make it through. So anybody else out there that's, you know, living the life of a musician and answering the calling, um, you know, it takes a lot of courage nowadays and a lot of an insane amount of uh, hard work to keep the train on the tracks. So big love to all of you that are out there having a go at it. Uh, it's not easy, uh, especially in Australia where it's such a smaller uh, demographic and population. And, um, you know, I have friends down there that tour year round because uh, they can't, probably can't afford to stop. They just got to keep hitting the road and playing shows and trying to get people out. And, um, you know, it's really tough. Um, but I really sincerely appreciate the, um, the award and the acknowledgement from home. That means a lot to me because, you know, I've been gone for, I don't know, about 20 something years. 21, 22 years. I came to the States when I was 18 to go to college and then I just stayed here. Um, I've been playing music ever since. I've been really, really lucky and working my ass off. Um, but it's really nice to get some love from home anytime I do. So it's really cool. Thanks to everyone that's been sending me nice messages about that. It's really cool. Um, Anyway, that's all I've got for today. Um, a couple little gear questions I've had. Let me answer those real quick. Um, the pedal that gives you the wobbly vinyl record sound is a gear tone pedal called a chorus flanger. Um, it's, I just tried it on a whim. I bought it cheap one day and because uh, I noticed there's a little setting on it called vibrato. It's a coarse flanger set uh, pedal, but it has a vibrato setting. And this little vibrato gives you the really cool, warbly sound. Like, check this out. I'll turn, the, turn the depth. It's just got depth and rate. So the speed of the warble and how deep. Um, you know, or it 
like, you know, it gets a cool, like, a, it's almost like the boss vibrato sound. Anyway, that's a cool pedal I found a while ago. I've been using it um, just to find something different. Um, <clears throat> and that's it. A few people asked about my settings. My settings on anything change every day, so I'm not really sure I know how to answer that question, but I do like, I have a love and hate relationship with lots of stuff around here, and so things come and go, and I think I'm over them, and then they make their way back in, because I remember there was something I liked about them. Um, but uh, I got this Flint Strymon that I thought I didn't like, but it's actually kind of a cool tool. It actually works just fine. Um, it's got a long, nice long reverb on it. Um, that can be useful for things, you know? And then uh, the reason I bought it was because it had the harmonic tremolo sound, which I really like. Anyway, I'm not trying to sell you anything. You guys know that. I just, this is just things that are useful or, you know, inspire something musically. Sometimes. And um, the fuzz I was using the other day is a prescription electronics experience pedal. It's like a 90s pedal. Um, Doyle Bramhole uses one. Uh, I can't remember where I first heard of it, but I've been using it for like years. And I've tried all kinds of different fuzz pedals, and I love, there's a few I really love, and I, I keep coming back to this one on my pedal board because it just seems to work on sessions, and, and it always sounds really good, and I love that it has the ghosty octave effect. That's all anybody asked about, you know. Uh, oh, the reverb. I've been using the um, Ebo Everb. Ebo was kind enough to hook me up with one of those. They're unbelievable. Um, and my the main amp I always play through is this Magic. Um, Mike Moody, who lives in uh, Palos Verdes in LA, who I've known for years. And he's a good mate of mine. I love him dearly. He um, built this Tweed Deluxe for me, which I love. You gotta have a good Tweed Deluxe. Anyway, that's all I got. Hope everybody's good, and I'll see you on the next one.